astronomical phenomena of 2024, a year full of cosmic wonders. The year 2024 offers us a wide variety of astronomical events that will allow us to admire the beauty and complexity of the universe. From total eclipses of the sun and moon, to meteor showers and bright comets, through planetary alignments and supermoons, the sky will give us unforgettable shows that you cannot miss. In this article, we tell you what the most important astronomical phenomena of 2024 are and how to observe them. Before continuing, I invite you to subscribe to the page, leave me a like and share, activate the bell so you don't miss new updates. Eclipses, the game of lights and shadows. Eclipses are phenomena that occur when one celestial body comes between another and the light source, projecting its shadow on it. The best known are the solar and lunar eclipses, which occur when the moon is between the sun and the earth, or when the earth is between the sun and the moon, respectively. Eclipses can be total, partial, or annular, depending on the degree of alignment and the distance between the bodies involved. Meteor Showers In 2024, we will be able to enjoy several meteor showers, some more intense than others, which will allow us to make wishes when seeing shooting stars. The first meteor shower of the year occurred in Quadrantids, which had their maximum splendor on the night of January 3rd to 4, with a rate of up to 120 meteors per hour. This shower originates from the remains of asteroid 2003 EH-1, which could be a fragment of an ancient comet. The meteors appear to emerge from the constellation of Boötes, near the mural quadrant asterism, from which they take their name. In 2024, we will also have the opportunity to witness two total eclipses, one of the Sun and another of the Moon, which will be visible from different parts of the world. The total solar eclipse will occur on April 8th and will be visible in its entirety in Mexico, the United States and Canada. This phenomenon occurs when the Moon and the Sun, seen from Earth, appear the same size, with the Moon completely covering the Sunday. Although the satellite is 400 times smaller and 400 times closer than the Sun, its shadow will fall on Earth, especially in Mexico. It will be visible in its entirety in Mazatlan, Sinaloa, parts of Durango, and in the cities of Torian, Monclova, and Piedras Negras, in Coahuila, with a duration of four minutes. It is worth visiting these places to enjoy these wonderful phenomena, the shooting stars. Meteor showers are phenomena that occur when the Earth passes through the orbit of a comet or asteroid, and its remains come into contact with the atmosphere, generating flashes of light that look like shooting stars. These remains are called meteoroids, and when they disintegrate in the atmosphere they are called meteors. Some meteors can be very bright and leave a luminous trail, known as bolides or fireworks. If any of these remains manage to reach the Earth's surface, it is called a meteoroid. Another notable meteor shower will be the Lyrids, which will reach its peak on the night of April 21st to 22nd, with a frequency of up to 20 meteors per hour. This shower comes from the remains of Comet Thatcher, which has an orbital period of about 415 years. The meteors appear to emanate from the Lyra constellation, near the bright star Vega, from which they take their name. To see this rain, it is advisable to find a place without light pollution and look east after midnight. The most spectacular meteor shower of the year will be the ETA Aquarids, which will peak on the night of May 5th to 6th, with a rate of up to 60 meteors per hour. This shower originates from the remains left by the famous Halley's Comet, which has an orbital period of about 76 years. The meteors are known for their speed and brilliance, traveling at about 66 kilometers per second, and illuminate the sky with streaks of light that appear to emerge from the constellation Aquarius, near the star ETA Aquarii, from which they take their name. To observe this rain, it is suggested to find a place with clear skies and look to the southeast before dawn. The total lunar eclipse will take place on May 15th and will be visible from Spain, Europe, Africa, Asia, and Oceania. This phenomenon occurs when the Earth comes between the Sun and the Moon, casting its shadow on the satellite. The Moon then acquires a reddish tone, due to the refraction of sunlight in the Earth's atmosphere, which is known as a blood moon. The eclipse will last about three and a half hours, with the total phase lasting one hour and 40 minutes. To observe it, you only need a place with clear skies and no light pollution, 
and you can use a telescope or binoculars to better appreciate the details of the lunar surface. Other meteor showers that we can see in 2024 are the Perseids, the Orionids, the Leonids, the Geminids, and the Ursids, which will take place between August and December, with varying rates of meteors per hour. These showers originate from the remains of different comets, such as Swift Tuttle, Halley, Temple Tuttle, and Phaeton, respectively. The meteors appear to come from the constellations of Perseus, Orion, Leo, Gemini, and Ursa Minor, respectively, from which they take their names. To see these rains, it is recommended to look for a place with a dark sky and look in the direction of the corresponding constellation, in the hours before dawn. Supermoons, the brightness of our satellite. Supermoons are phenomena that occur when the moon is in its full phase and is at the closest point to the Earth in its orbit. The supermoon effect occurs when the moon is in its full phase and is at the point closest to Earth in its orbit, known as perigee. This makes the moon appear 30% larger and 16% brighter than a normal full moon, known as the supermoon effect. This phenomenon can be observed several times a year, depending on the alignment between the sun, earth, and moon. Some supermoons are more spectacular than others, depending on the distance and viewing angle. The next supermoon will be on August 31, 2024, and it is called the super blue moon, because it is the second full moon of the same month. To see it, it is recommended to look for a place with clear skies and no light pollution, and look east after sunset. Would you like to see the super blue moon? Thank you for having watched the entire video, I invite you to stay tuned for new content of great importance.